Right. Yes. That's right, and that's, you know, and I've said it more than once uh, on air, that's, you know, a pay grade well above mine. I wouldn't want to make that decision. You know, if, if they, yeah, if they back off and then something happens, you you're, that's weighing on you. And, you know, and then again, if they don't back off, well, and this person gets away, this is somebody that could be, have major warrants. This person could create, you know, maybe, maybe do another crime or a, a violent crime and hurt somebody. So these are the what, what everybody, you know, law enforcement always has to weigh. This this person clearly a little a menace. Let's just use the word right now, menace to the folks around them on the freeway. Higher speeds than whatever the, the, the traffic is, he, maneuvering quite a bit, seems to have settled down a little bit. And we've seen that in the past. You know, the, you, you get in that, the, the suspect gets in that pursuit, gets a little panicked, really kind of, you know, wants to run, but then that adrenaline kind of wears off and then things calm down. Hopefully that's what's going on. And hopefully the next step for that person behind the wheel is the, you know, just the rationalization that, you know what, uh, you know, whatever it is, it, it's not worth injuring somebody, hopefully, and, you know, just pull over. Uh, could be, uh, you know, that could be a plus and it could be a minus. You know, if they're talking to somebody on the phone, hopefully that person is like, hey, just pull over but again it's distracting that driver at driving at high speeds that one officer that california highway patrol officer in that suv back there uh, you know you've got it that guy's going to get a gold star by his name he's been doing some amazing driving uh keeping up with that vehicle but doing the safer driving than that person and you're right michaela definitely looks like somebody on the phone hopefully that person is like just pull over and we'll take care of whatever it is we'll take care of it afterwards Yeah. Right. Well past Azusa, that's right, and we're up in the Glendora area. That's going to roughly, actually, we're exiting the Glendora area and making our way into the next town, which would be Laverne, or dr roughly the Laverne area. Uh, you know, just to, to fill a little space here, you know, we've seen a lot of times in the past where law enforcement has backed down from a chase and uh, that the person continues to drive extremely recklessly. Uh, so, you know, and, and we've seen very few times where the law enforcement is back down and the car just pulls over. So, it, it, but again, these are all statistics that somebody's probably compiling somewhere. That's something interesting right there. There's another uh, California Highway Patrol vehicle. We've talked about that as well. They, they patrol areas much like all law enforcement. They have their beat and they, they will hand off these chases to the next area and we follow along on the scanner the, the, the california highway patrol uses colors to uh to 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 quali uh, to basically label their areas where they where they're at right now though it i haven't heard them hand off so that's kind of interesting but that uh, law enforcement clearly watching this brother and chase this car now 73 miles an hour has slowed down a lot hopefully that whoever they're talking to is talking some sense into them and uh, I'm just trying to get a, an off-ramp for you. We're coming up on baseline off the 210. We're definitely going to be in the Laverne area. And again, this pursuit continues. California Highway Patrol tasked with bringing this to an end safely. Uh, lights and sirens, that seems to be the only thing that they can really offer the uh, folks on the, on the roadway today. Yeah. 
Up. You know, and, and that's that's the, 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 the big problem. That's one of the things. It's safety of the public. That's one of the things law enforcement has to has to contend with. Right now, though, happy to say the speeds seem to be slowing down. We saw that vehicle just ride through a gore point out there, meaning one of those areas where it could have gotten off the freeway, but, you know, basically just kind of stayed on the freeway. Middle lane, that's where we are. It, and the lane changes have kind of slowed down. It looked like they were starting to move right there. But you can see the speeds kind of falling more into that uh, freeway type of traffic. California Highway Patrol, they, I'm not sure now, there they are. I was just going to say they, they were discussing it. But that one vehicle, uh, you know, that's the, the, he's out of the Los Angeles area, clearly out well outside his area right now, but continuing the pursuit. And of course, there's a helicopter from California Highway Patrol here as well. Uh, again, what is this driver wanted for? Why are they so desperate to get away that, uh, that they would take these chances and continue these high speeds on the freeway? Are we on town? Fruit? It looks like he's just kind of getting back. Yeah, just doubling back. Just doubling back. Oh, now they're getting crazy again. Westbound. Yeah, definitely westbound 210. They got off at Fruit. There was an opportunity to do a pit, but probably the vehicle was moving too quickly and it was unsafe for that uh, officer to do that pit maneuver. Uh, once that vehicle got back onto the freeway, that uh, you know, let's just call the. The, the driving really kind of got a little bit sketchy there for a moment. You saw that car trying, thinking about getting onto the emergency lane, then didn't. So those second, you know, second guessing at high speeds, very, very bad. Now that vehicle, again, same thing, but higher speeds, now going westbound, double back. We might be coming up on the 605. It kind of makes you wonder if this vehicle has a destination. When they make those U-turns, sometimes you're kind of going back to an area that they're familiar to. Of you know, So that might be the plan right here, but definitely you know, got off. There was no reason. It wasn't heavy traffic. There wasn't any kind of problem that was making that vehicle. Just kind of picked fruit, got off the freeway, got back on. Now we're westbound approaching the 605. Would we have known that they would have gotten off at fruit?
Up, getting blocked in, getting blocked in, getting blocked in. They're getting in a lot of traffic. Bad choice. Up, 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 up. Oh, getting a little tight there. Yep. Yeah, oh, definitely, it, it definitely backed up up here, and, it, you know, and it's actually just going to get thicker. I'm looking where they are right now. Looks like, looks like we're uh, going to take another off-ramp, or oh, we're not. There we go. We're staying on the 210. Not, you know, not a good choice for all the other folks out there, because it really does get backed up. It gets very tight, especially to come around that curve up here. Uh, you know, and you can see that vehicle making those uh, dramatic moves, those big moves down there. And California Highway Patrol, they're not going to let this thing go. The only thing that could maybe happen, and we've seen it in the past, this uh, vehicle might jam itself up, you know, basically get stuck somewhere. See California Highway Patrol making that uh, command presence right there in their rearview mirror, more officers right there. But again, how do you bring it to a stop? You can't, you can't physically block it in. But, uh, you know, right now it's just kind of follow, alert the public, stay with it, and then hopefully there'll, there'll be an opportunity where they can you know, do the pit maneuver or perhaps put out those spike strips. The spike strips, like uh, Dennis was saying just a moment ago, they're difficult. You can't predict where that car is going to go. And with heavy traffic like that, you're not going to be able to deploy it with all these other vehicles. Oh, right there. Yep. Yep. I, I would say probably closer to 30, 30 minutes, if that. Right. Coming back to Azusa. Oh, definitely. And, and, you know, in law enforcement, that you know, that's one of the things we've seen so many times in the pursuits in the past. The vehicles will give up before the, the driver does. Uh, you know, they'll have some sort of mechanical issue, run out of gas, uh, whatever it may be, hit a curb, you know, because they're driving too quickly, take out their own tires. Uh, we've seen a lot of those happen in the past. Right now, I can tell you we're back in westbound 210, getting back into the Azusa area, and traffic isn't going to get any better. Uh, you know, he's doing, uh, we're assuming that's a mail behind the wheel there the suspect doing a lot of weaving in and out of traffic there california highway patrol they have the benefit of the lights and sirens a lot of the folks they will do what they need to do move out of the way so law enforcement they aren't catching up as it would be they're keeping up for this situation right now other law enforcement maybe even law enforcement in the area maybe even azusa pd knowing this is happening will be in the area or make themselves conveniently available if this vehicle gets off the freeway right now riding that emergency lane that could be a big plus maybe that vehicle will pick up some debris get a flat tire that might help bring this to an end but these high turns whoa look at that look at that look at that there oh Oh, and California Highway Patrol right there, but this driver still continues to drive. Now, that other vehicle, that pickup truck, hopefully they're going to be okay. Yeah, the, hopefully that other vehicle is going to be, uh, driver is going to be okay. And this driver now, you know, this is the thing. You, you just were in an accident. Why push it? You know, it, 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 this could have ended so much worse, and then this vehicle continuing to drive. And this just makes you think again. It's like Dennis was saying. We don't know what this person's wanted for. Why is this person so desperate to stay away from law enforcement? Right now, one person's day probably ruined. I would hope they're going to be okay. Basically bumped into the back of that pickup truck. But look at the damage to the car. Yeah, no, Michaela, you brought it up. Uh, it, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It, it, it Oh, definitely, definitely. But we're not seeing any steam, so it looks like the radiator's still intact. Uh, looks like this could be it right here. It looks like we're going to be exiting the freeway. I'll get you an off-ramp right here. Uh, but this is the thing, and we're going to be in the Azusa Avenue. It looks like we're going to stay. Are we getting off the freeway or no? We're not. I'm sorry. Uh, it, I thought it was an off-ramp. Yeah. 
Yeah, the emergency lane right there. So again, just kind of moving along. Uh, the California Highway Patrol, you saw that officer hoping this would have come to an end. Uh, and I would almost think was going to do some sort of intervention, but just because of the other vehicles, it might have just spun out and hit another car. That's definitely what they don't want. Yo, know, now you got a motorcycle rider right there. I, oh, it is a California Highway Patrol. Thank goodness. I was. I just thought maybe it was just a, a random uh, person. But so now you have a, a motorcycle. This uh, motorcycle clearly is not going to be able to do a pit maneuver, but definitely is going to be able to keep up with that vehicle, especially in this tight traffic situation. Uh, again, you have to wonder, right, Michaela? You know, uh, supervisors watching this, they're probably thinking to themselves. You know, should we call it? But now this vehicle, you know, clearly was involved in an accident as well. So I don't want to talk to this driver, that's for sure. Boy, a good scanner would be so awesome right now. Yeah, no, the scanner would be great right now. Looks like we're getting off. Are we getting off? Are we getting off the freeway? Oh, no, we're doing the 605. We're doing the 605. Back to the 605. No, 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 no. We're, we're still moving along. It's just getting a little bit of traffic. All right. Sweet.
What do we got for fuel? We have 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Southbound 605, Michaela. Southbound 605. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Michaela. No, we are southbound 605. When you were ta talking earlier, I thought, I, I'm sorry. There's so much going on out here. I thought, I thought you knew. It was southbound 605 freeway. Uh, that vehicle continuing to move along right there. I, basically, really just backtracking, going back to where the, you know, because we were northbound on the 605, now we're southbound. I really wonder if he's going to take the 10 or the 605. Uh, you were asking about that front bumper. Dennis was making a comment as well. In this case, it doesn't look like it's actually making contact with any of the wheels or anything. Looks like, here we go, this time... I don't want to say it because it's been, we've been we've been so close so many times. Looks like we are definitely getting off the freeway this time. So this is going to be an opportunity for the California Highway Patrol, possibly, if there is no other traffic around there, to do that pit maneuver and look at all that other traffic. So they aren't going to be able to do that, making another big sweeping turn. I don't know. You know, last time it was on the freeway. I mean, off the freeway, on the freeway. Let's see where this car goes now. Lower Azusa Road, that's where we are. But, uh, again... You know, slowing down. Look at the speeds right there. Maybe, pro maybe that vehicle is giving some sort of indication that it's not going to be going anymore. Uh, California Highway Patrol right behind it. If if it looks like that car is just going to come to a stop, they are not going to pit it because they. W what would be the point? So right now, it looks as if though maybe that vehicle is giving up before that driver. We've seen that so many times in the past. But uh, much slower movement, much less uh, uh, traffic out here. And uh, again, this is Lower Azusa Road, and I don't think we're technically in Azusa anymore. I believe this is going to be more Baldwin Park. throwing more stuff out the car. Yeah. Yep. They believe it was a weapon. I, I mean, they, they, there's been some talk that it possibly may have been a weapon. They just don't know. Here we go. Hard turn. Hard turn. And uh, so... We were on Los Angeles, now we're on, on the center, and uh, it, much like you, Michaela, sometimes I, I'm a little bit turned around. i got to figure out which way we're going, north or south, but definitely established in the, in, the, in the Baldwin Park area. It seems like, you know, possibly this vehicle, you know, now we're getting very residential. It almost seems like this vehicle is driving to a destination. Don't know if it's going to be family that just might be there, or possibly this person thinks, oh, I can jump out and make a run for it because I know that neighborhood. We've seen that so many times in the past as well. Uh, California Highway Patrol, their presence, very, very close by. And it looks like that driver, you know, Justin's doing a great shot, uh, is kind of digging around in that center council. And, you know, this is the thing, uh, you know, law enforcement, that's, they don't want to see that, uh, especially, you know, when a vehicle's coming to a stop, making a turn into a very residential neighborhood. Again, uh, it, we're staying in the uh, Baldwin Park area, but uh, law enforcement in the air and on the ground, they're just keeping an eye on it. They're going to see where this vehicle comes to a stop. Michaela?
Yep. Don't, and, and it seems like, uh, Mikhail, I was actually looking at some of the comments on, on, on our digital media. It actually looks like this person is just making blocks. I, I, did I miss something there? Because it, I, if they make another really hard turn here, I watched, the, I watched that vehicle make a hard, uh, would have been a left turn just a moment ago. It looks like they're just kind of driving in the same street, but now the street names are changing. I'm going to find it on, on my moving map so we can keep a keep a keep. Hornbrook, yeah. So basically, just lo it looks like there you go, coming to a stop. Uh, Justin, just get a little bit wider. See if there's any people. Yeah, it looks like that car basically gave up before that driver did. Uh, so this looks like hopefully, hopefully this is going to go textbook. Hopefully that driver is just going to get out of that vehicle. Uh, uh, clearly, all the law enforcement, you know, they are going to be concerned about their safety, not about us being here. But uh, keeping a, an eye on what's going on, hands are out of the vehicle. But we haven't seen the keys come out, and uh, that vehicle just stopped. So perhaps you know that driver might think, "Hey, I got one more shot at this." Right now, though, looks like it is coming to an end, Michaela. This is what we want to see. Doors are open, hands are out, and uh, that vehicle has come to a complete stop. So uh, let's uh, let's see and watch, and hopefully that uh, this suspect just goes into custody and without any type of other incident. But clearly clearly following the rules and uh, making the moves that the that law enforcement wants to see and uh, maybe even perhaps this uh, person's done this before it's cars not parked yeah so yep up oh, oh the curb saved it there you go yeah a little little good karma there yeah little good karma you can see the uh, the uh, law enforcement making an approach uh, you, you can we've seen this so many times in the past uh, there, there's that motorcycle officer that uh, Dennis and everybody was watching and uh, and I was actually seeing a lot of props for that uh, officer on on the digital media they were saying what a amazing rider that uh, guy was he's gonna make sure that there's nobody in the car now that partner is helping as well but we're pretty sure there isn't that suspect going into custody I really would like to know what this was all about. Perhaps there was more than just expired tags, but right now, coming to an end out here, San Gabriel Valley uh, and uh, off of Hornbrook, and uh, one suspect in custody. We can't say no damage to any vehicles, and hopefully that driver in that pickup truck is okay. Is that true? Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum. My assignment desk rules. That's all I gotta say. You guys frickin' rock. K Cal. I, I'm sure it was something else. I'm sure this guy's got warrants. Yeah, that I heard that as well, but I can't get confirmation, so I just brought it up. I don't know if we're still, I guess we are still alive. And if we are still alive, thanks y'all for, uh, for tuning in and watching with us. I don't know if we, uh, if it's the helicopter audio going out or if it's the, uh, 
or if it's a show audio, but uh, I appreciate it. Everybody's uh, doing the good job with the parking brake. P is for park. Yeah, he, 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 he totally lost it. Sweet, thank you. They just said we're clear from KCAL. Yes, they do. Well, I'm not sure if my audio is still live. I don't think it is, so it's okay. That suspect definitely in custody. No, not yet. Hang on. So anybody that's still watching right there, I saw a lot of questions. I don't know if uh, you guys already have tuned out, but yeah, definitely was involved in an accident on the uh, 210 freeway. The vehicle uh, spun out. That's the driver right there watching uh, Chase. At one point, he was pushing that little Nissan up to uh, 100 miles an hour. And, uh, and then also, he lost control of that thing, but he wasn't going 100, clearly. Hopefully, that guy in the pickup truck is okay. We watched him throw stuff out of the vehicle three times, I think it was. There has been some speculation that it may have been a weapon it, that was tossed out of the car somewhere along the uh, along the way. They were, uh, you know, law enforcement clearly saw that as well. They marked that spot. I'm sure they have officers over there looking to see what they can uh, recover. One suspect in custody. Uh, like I said, usually we like to say nobody was injured. We don't know about that guy on the pickup truck. I also like to say no paint swap, no bent metal. Can't say that either. We have all of that today. But uh, definitely one in custody and, a, you know, was a long pursuit for, uh, for an early morning. And I thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. And now we can go for fuel, I guess. Can we go for fuel, uh, Van Nuys? My, my, my tummy, my tummy needs some food. She said we did a good job and we can go. She actually said, Adam did the best job. Justin came in number two, and Stu, you need a little work. You're a little, you're a little crass. Yeah. And the numbers are dropping off. Look at that. People are tuning out. We had.